Welcome, <laughs> just joking, welcome to the Juice Box Deuce Show. This chair's fucked. The fuck's going on here? Anyway, you're probably wondering, why is this goofy dude wearing glasses? Well, I'm fucked up. I am fucked up. I didn't sleep last night and I got these bright ass fucking lights shining me straight in my eyeballs. Um, but today, I just wanted to try this out again, this like juice box show. The air conditioning's on because guess what? It's a million degrees here in Australia. Yesterday it was 43 Celsius, 43 degrees Celsius. Do you know what that means? That means that your face fucking melts off. Okay, it's not fun, it's not funny. Don't make jokes about it because it's not funny. The coronavirus on the other hand is a huge, no, that's not a joke. I don't know what's been going on. Listen, we got a new uh, podcast coming out. It's a collaboration between me, uh, another content creator, and uh, two, well, two other content creators, they're brothers. And uh, I don't really know what's happening with that, but it's gonna be like a podcast, you know? like a live event but not live and uh, what else is happening I was supposed to be you're probably asking why are you wearing this shirt because you're a loser you don't even have a job it kind of looks like a shirt that someone would wear if they had a job well you're right I don't have a job but I was supposed to be <laughs> I was supposed to be the president of Australia today okay not the real president of Australia because that Australia doesn't have a president, it has a prime minister. But we were doing like a goofy video and I was supposed to stand in front of the green screen. Um, my beautiful friend sent me a green screen, um, sent him broke, he's broke now, he's homeless. Uh, but I've got all the gear. I got fucking a bunch of gear and he's homeless and So hey, as long as I'm all right <coughs> But uh, so what are we gonna do? What do you guys want? I mean TikTok's not working out YouTube has never worked out, but I keep coming back So you know what I just thought fuck everyone else's You know what they think and I, j I really want to do this I don't know why. Don't ask me why. Ask me questions, but don't ask me why. If that makes any sense. It probably doesn't make sense. Uh, let's talk about current events. So, a lot happened last year. <coughs> a lot happened this year. We got the, uh, co what is it? Coronavirus? That's not, that's not a virus where everyone just wants to drink beer, all right? So don't make jokes about that. Uh, Kobe Bryant died, we're not gonna make jokes about that. I had a whole, you know what? I was talking to one of my friends and he was like, dude, Kobe Bryant jokes, which I don't have any Kobe Bryant jokes, um, uh, like crocodile hunter jokes and all that stuff, you know, you're playing with fire. And so I had like, that made me wanna do, do it. That made me wanna make jokes even more. But you know what? I watched a, um, I watched a little documentary thing on the Crocodile Hunter. And uh, he, uh, you know, I was watching his daughter say some stuff and this was just after he died and then you know I kept watching some things and making my mind up if I wanted to do these jokes and, um, and then I watched another thing with his daughter talking Bindi Irwin talking about her dad and uh, you know I just thought I can't do this like I can't make jokes because you know why because I'm a dad and when I saw, you know, his daughter getting emotional about losing her dad at a young age, I just couldn't. 
I couldn't, you know, no matter what I think about Steve Irwin <laughs> and, you know, whatever I think about his life and, like, I just can't believe he's, he wasn't, you know, that wasn't just a fucking comedy act. Uh, you know, it, some of the stuff was so funny and just, I, I just couldn't believe it. This guy's getting around saying fucking crikey and jumping on crocodiles and shit. It's like, dude, are you not a comedian? But, I don't know. And pl I think it's too easy. I think it's too easy to make jokes about Steve Irwin and Sting Rays and that, so. But nonetheless, I watched the, I did some research. I watched <coughs> some uh, little, like, documentaries and stuff like that, and I decided I'm not going to do that. Um, I can't make jokes about the coronavirus because... My wife's Chinese and uh, she, you know, whatever. I, I, maybe I've got a little bit of respect, who knows? Maybe I don't. So the other things, <laughs> the, 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 Syrian, the Syrian civil war, I didn't know anything about this. I never knew anything about this. Um, I don't know much about current events because I don't watch the fucking news. I don't watch TV, I don't watch commercials, I don't watch any of that stuff. And if people tell me things, usually I feel like they heard it from mainstream media and I'm kind of like, Ugh. you know, they always dramatise things. People get worried about stuff when they see it on mainstream media. And I just, you know, I believe half of what I hear. And three quarters of what I see? Or is that the other way around? I believe half of what I see and I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I just know that the media fucking, you know, cooks things up. They really do. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we got the coronavirus, we got AIDS research, Brexit, we got Mass shootings, we got fucking impeachment, impeachment? Dude, they did not impeach that motherfucker. I would have known about that. Impeachment, oh, impeachment trial. They're not gonna impeach that motherfucker. Dudes, they're not gonna impeach Donald Trump. Come on, how many times has it happened in the past? It's not gonna happen. It's just not, I don't believe it. Um. Okay, it says here someone got stabbed, whatever. Groundhog Day. What the fuck is with Groundhog Day? Seriously. Whatever. Um, well, the Wuhan, Wuhan coronavirus outbreak. Well, my wife actually comes from Wuhan and her friends are all st stuck there. Her parents are stuck there. She's freaking out, obviously. I'm trying not to make jokes about it. So there's that. Um, Persian Gulf crisis. Okay. Whoa. Someone in the Congo? Something in the Congo happened with some dude. He killed 62 people. 400 to 500 people are left stranded in some resort in British Columbia. This is a this is a, this is old news. Uh, something happened in Egypt. Fossil fuel fuels. Something about that. Oh. Yeah. So. What have you guys been doing? What do you guys want me to talk about? You know, last time I talked about some things and some stuff and no one really seemed that interested in what I had to say. Um, is this microphone working good? Does that microphone work? Well, I must look cool as fuck right now. I mean, seriously, look at my shirt and look at my sunnies. Look at my sunnies and look at my shirt. I must look cool as fuck right now. I mean, 
You should just be watching my fucking YouTube channel just to see me looking cool. Because that's what I do, I do it every day. I look cool as fuck. I go and pick up my fucking daughter from school and all, this, all the mums are just like, oh, even the dads, even the dads are like, oh shit, son. I walk past like fucking the mums and the dads and the teachers, you know? They fucking, I just, the school just turns into a fucking, you know what, I can't joke about school. Dude, is there anything I can fucking joke about? I'm gonna do this twice a week. I'm gonna do this twice a week. I need something to talk about. I need something to talk about. What are we gonna talk about? I don't know. I just, fucking green screens. Green screens are harder to figure out than I thought. There you go, we can talk about that. Green screens. What the fuck? I thought that was easy. You just put the green screen up and do your video and then key it out. And no, turns out you can't have any crinkles. You need to light the actual green screen. It's fucking insane. I don't like it. I don't like doing that shit. You know? I don't like, I don't like being on the camera particularly. I would rather like come up with creative ideas and get other people to do it, you know? And I just like have the creative ideas. This for me, I have to try really hard. So me just sitting in front of the camera like this, I have to actually, I have to really, this is, I know it seems, it's like what the fuck dude, you're just sitting at a table doing just, dribbling sh absolute shit. I'm about to turn the video off. Yeah, I know. But try it, motherfucker. Try it. Try and sit in front of the camera without a script and just to fucking get people to watch that video. It's not gonna happen, bitch. I can do it because I'm a fucking, I'm a sicko. I'm a fuck, I'm full boosters. I am full boosters, uh, s sicko. I'm a full boost sicko, and I can do this. I can do this all day, every day. I'm not going to, because I just don't, you know. I might do this a couple of times a week because it's hard. It's not easy. I got, I got flowers here. I say dude way too much. I say dude so much. My kid, my five-year-old daughter says, it calls me do. She's, she doesn't call me dad. She's not like a dad. She's like, oh, hey, dude. I'm like, what the fuck? Well, you know, I suppose that's my fault, whatever. Is there anyone, you know? Like, is there anyone out there watching me right now? I poked fun at PTSD the other day in a video. Uh, made fun of people with PTSD, cooked pancakes. Um, if you haven't watched that video, go and watch it. It's horrible. Whatever. Subscribe to my channel. You know what? I'm sick of people not subscribing to my channel, okay? I've been on YouTube for five years, busting my balls, all right? And your motherfuckers are not subscribing to me. I am busting my balls. I asked you last time, what do you want from me? I don't know. If I knew what you wanted, you want me to stand up? You want me to sit down? You want me to wear nice shirts and cool sunnies? I'll do it. You got to tell me. I'll give you what you want. I can do it all. Well, you've seen it. You know it. If all my neighbours know it. My neighbours know it. Like my neighbours, I don't know any of my neighbours. I don't really care about my fucking neighbours. That's my theory with neighbours, you know? You, you, like, don't talk to me I, and I won't talk to you, you know? Don't look at me. When I'm getting my mail from the mailbox, don't, you know, stay inside your house. 
give me some personal space. Give me at least 50 meters. Wave at me once a week, okay? Wave at me once a week and just don't add me on Facebook. I was on Periscope live streaming every day and I got into the drama and, oh, dude, it was absolutely insane. Uh, I lost my mind, maybe through paranoia, maybe through whatever. I realized that it was all bullshit and uh, it wasn't worth it. I don't know, man. Sometimes you just get drawn into this like crazy, I don't know, I don't know, social media, man, live streaming. But it happens, it happens to everyone. It happens to in YouTube, you know, you got the drama, you got the people that just talk nonstop shit, you, and then you got the, the people that support those people and they go over and they start talking shit. It's just like social media sometimes just turns into one big clusterfuck. And you really, you don't want to get involved in that shit. I'm telling you. You don't want to get involved in that shit. First of all, you get dragged into like this, this fucking drama content, which is forgettable, to be quite honest. People aren't gonna re remember the cool things, unless you're like fucking hella famous, you know? And then even then, people aren't gonna, like they're not gonna think that's cool, you know? People like don't remember Eddie Murphy for get sucked off in his car by a, by a tranny, you know? They remember him from his stand-up, Delirious. <laughs> I don't know, actually, maybe they do only remember him from getting sucked off in the car by a tranny. I don't fucking know. And you know what? I don't care. And I don't care about this fucking video. I'm finished. I'm done. I'm going back to trying to do this green screen thing. I got, I mean, I look, I look dope as shit. Like this is, this shirt's dope. I got this shirt from Kmart. I walked into Kmart by myself. I brought this shirt. I brought a couple of other shirts too because I buy my shirts from Kmart, right? I'm not fucking around. I'm not going to fancy ass shops being like, oh cool, let me spend a million dollars on a fucking shirt. I don't have any money. That's why I need subscribers. Can you just, okay, listen. This is the end of the video. Subscribe to my channel, dude. Please. For fuck's sake. Yeah. Yep. That's the I'm um, Juice Box. This is my YouTube channel. Thanks for popping in and uh, using your eyes to look at me. And uh, I'll see you next time.